thing is doing this is, it's like, I don't know how it's going to turn out. Yeah. They'll be able to hear us all talking and everything, but like, can they hear the phone doing stuff and right. this or that, you know what I mean? Yeah. I want to get on the 81410 so fucking bad. <laughs> needs a little help. People ask, like, a little girl works down also, she's like, somebody showed her, I guess he showed her or whatever, uh, that one where he was sleeping, that hour and a half long video. Mm -hmm. And uh, other people watch Ursula, uh, it's out there. It's like, watch them all. We get Chris in on, well, if I never fucking get in the call back, getting in here, plug his fucking, because all people in town watch, get a scratch or anything. Can't okay. play music. Because if we, if we got it over 1410, they have all that stuff where we can create the bumpers and everything like Russ does. Yeah. For our own songs and shit. Right. We can do the exciting traffic for Bowie, Texas. So that's why Charlie Jones just uses the intro to songs, or on his vocal music. A lot of songs, like I've some songs that I used to use, you can only play thirty seconds of it with words. Oh. But there's songs out there that are really great songs with good beats that don't ever have no words anyway. Yeah. Like Russ's intro song that you ever heard that one? It's called Fire and Mercy by somebody. Good fucking song. You don't have no words. Yeah, it's like so you can play the whole fucking thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's one thing Charlie Jones. He's getting kind of lame, but he did turn me on to, which was this. Uh, she's a uh, Dutch female, real good looking saxophone player, and she's got this song called "Lola Was Here." You need to see it. So, uh, she's I'm about to say yeah. I don't want to hear her music, but I'll look at a picture. Of no, her. you look at the picture of her because she's definitely. Mm, Short cans. <coughs> Show the top of her cans. <coughs> Type in her name and put sexy out beside it and see what pops up for her. I bet she's been in like Playboy or Maxwell. Every chick nowadays done that. got his light bar fully done. I just got to run the wires from the light bar to the switch box. Which will be tomorrow afternoon's task. And then that truck will be able to do one thing it's never ever been able to do. Control traffic. Fish. <coughs> that truck's actually been around longer than mine. I got videos of it on my YouTube page but back when we first started with a single dash light, some cheap ass code three lights. Remember that? They're in New York. <coughs> Wasn't even blacked out. Near no nowhere even near blacked out at the time. Do you like foreign accents? Or? I just show me what she looks like. Get a good steel picture, show some cans or something. Uh, she spins around, shows her ass or something. You know, be be more penalizing to me. I've been drinking. I have a short attention span. I was proud I was able to put that light bar together. Let's see. I hear everything exciting today. Uh, apparently, everybody who works at the truck stop does dope. But I heard. Really? Or somebody told somebody who works at the truck stop. Employees? Oh, he did say everybody works there. That would be employees, definitely. I'm sorry. No, no, it's that yeah. typical Bowie rumor bullshit. Oh, yeah. Okay, here you go. 
That's dead to it, Oh, I'm not. Oh, damn, you can see some game. Look at it, right there. Bring that one in. Right there. there. Um, oh, yeah, right? Hmm. You can look by there. There was one. She was climbing it at the... <laughs> She's a Dutch saxophone player. I just showed them what every male guy that ever watches this show okay. wanted to know. <laughs> I still don't want to hear her sing, but that's a good picture. She right doesn't there. sing. I told you, you type in sexy. sexy. I bet you find her in the king. No, the one that was just some legs with thigh high stockings going up a ladder, it wasn't sexy. Right. She's blowing a black guy or something. The, there she is with her sexy on this video. There's something about the Dutch. Well, the fact that it's just exotic and it's not these typical wimp, uh, white, typical fucking white bitches here in America. Uh, I've saw an interview with her. She's the one with Howard Stern where you gotta take the top off. See, but she got that saxophone in the way. Mary Pup Kill? No. You ever heard of it? No. Alright, it's a soldier's game. Long periods in the Humvee and shit. Nice person. You got these three people. You marry one of them, fuck one of them, and kill one of them. Mm -hmm. it, make, it makes sense, don't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, are all three on the same person? <laughs> uh, no, but. Most of the time, it's celebrities or whatever. Oh. I see. It'd be funner if he'd wake up. Well, let him, let him shake off the mowing contract for a while. He's he's still coming down. He got his mentee last night. It's time for the show to fucking go on. The show must go on. Pink I thought Ford. you said this was a 30-minute show. No, actually, this is a show that goes to. I fucking get bored. Oh, I see. I just keep it down to 30 well, segments so they download it quicker. I gotta be ready to hit the road pretty early in the morning, so. You can wait till this last 30 minutes. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah. I ain't making a drink. Huh? I ain't, ain't forcing you to drink. I know, you're not. Who does for that? Uh, I reckon. Let's see. That's a boring ass weekend. Well, not for me. Rolling to the big city of Plano. Seeing my amazing grandchildren. See, you at your age, you're, you're different than me. At, if, at right now, at my age, 27. My own family, I'm like, I don't fucking see you. Don't come, don't come to my house. I'm that way about my family, family too, but not grandkids. Now, I, might now, have I imagine if I'm this way now, how I'm going to be about my kids' kids and my kids. Like, you left at 18. I don't even see you no more. I'm trying to catch up on 25 years of fucking TV. <laughs> Well, like I said, like I tell people, I had to have a kid to raise somebody to get my jokes. So that's why I have to sing. This is that the only person that does, usually. So, you know, there's that. Plus, it's very entertaining. I'm going to have to find some people during the week to come over for a show. Some people that can take the whole uh, bashing. It's, there's a bashing that goes on here, but the, Don's the only one we can fucking really want to go. What's it like being on the show? Well, if you ran out the front of that car up there, <laughs> it, you would have a better day. <laughs> well, you know, but 
We really keep it. Yeah, aside, the kid took it pretty good the other night, the paces you were putting him through, I think. He kept his cool, he didn't get mad. He did what you told him. Well, you really got fucked up. <laughs> I would have sick your dollars on him. <laughs> Russia show so great is that vulgarity is bleeped out. But you know what he says, but it's there. It's saying exactly whatever the fuck you want to. And if you got any problem with it. Oh, what the what like Matt Shower talk show is that they bleep stuff that makes it sound nasty when it really wasn't. I love that. Whatever it is, it's hilarious. It's a late night one? Uh-huh. I never heard a late night talk show. Uh, oh, I mean, I think this is TV. Saturday Night Live? No, it's that, wait, that thing is lame. Uh, now, here, there's that one that has Gary Busey in it. And you might have seen it. Uh, there's this table of guys, and they're like, all right. It's kind of like a, a men's discussion thing. They're like, which is more important to you on a woman? Big breast or a big ass? And one guy's like, well, John, or whatever, I'm, I'm going to have to go breast. And there's an older guy that goes, breast. Humongous or enormous. Now, one black guy goes, Well, you know, I'm gonna have to go with, uh, I like one with a big ass, something you can grab onto a hit with a car antenna. That's <laughs> Gary Beauty. <laughs> oh, I can't even crazy. I found the transcript, but I can't find the video. The video is gonna be more hilarious. Vomit sound apps. So when we start talking about Hillary or anything, we go, brr, brr, make that sound. Um, I was famous in speech and drama for my vomit act. I really sound. Do you make a vomit sound? I haven't done it in a long time. I'm kind of out of practice. Oh, it's Jimmy Kimmel. But he, he bleeps clean stuff, but mm -hmm. the way he bleeps it, it makes it sound obscene. We had the best speech and drama teacher. Oh my gosh, we did some really cool stuff, crazy stuff. Yeah, you know, 50 years down the line, somebody reads, I'll never forget your vomit act in speech class. It's just like 
find that perfect bombing sound effect. Uh, yeah, I can't say anything exciting happened. Uh, Talk about something, but it's like, I don't know if this, this person listens to the show. Huh? Uh, I can talk about something, but this person listens to the show. I'm like, I don't know if I should. It might be three weeks before I hear from the person go, like, You talked about me on the show. Who are you? Yeah, if you want to look that somehow on the phone, it's not a piece of crap. It's called Best of. It's called unnecessary censorship. But I haven't watched Slate Not Talk Show in so long. Now I'm using John for the Slate. What is it, Paige? You don't need to go in Dougie's room. Come on, we'll fix the go. Here we go, I fix it. Huh? 15 minutes. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Heads up, Paigey. Come over here. Come here, Paigey. Uh, let's see. What is it, baby? I know that one guy from the Olympics, if he won, won more. song that he's talking about going hungry. It's really what you want, isn't it? They're probably going to delete the second part, but I'm going to play it for you anyways. Have you heard, seen the Bad Santa 2 trailer? No. Did, did you like Bad Santa? Oh my gosh. I, I do not watch movies over ever. And I watched that about five or six times and never got tired of it. It's like one of my favorite movies ever. After this, we're going to I don't give a fuck. They, you're going to laugh your ass off. Especially the last sentence. back in the 90s, 2000s, how they had that real like uh, sound of their voices when they sang the songs in, you yeah. know, Nickelback, yeah. shit like that. This is from that time. Oh. This is a typical Temple of the Dog, I'm um, going hungry. Unicef is popular and crap. Yeah.
hear that elongation in it. It's kind of mechanicalized or something. That's the funny part. Chris works at Scrapyard. He can redo the inverted in his own stuff. And use that long, drawn outness. Yeah. Now, Eric, come watch the bad sanitary truck. <laughs> I watched it. I, I looked like a retard laughing at my cup of the truck. It's funny. Red band trim. That's it. This is my third time watching it. I'm gonna laugh still. I got anything you want to tell the audience? Um, the listeners? Yeah, we need to give us a boring slump that the whole country is in. You mean the Olympics? Huh? Yeah, yeah, well, that, the politics has gotten boring. Look up something on the Olympics. See, find something real good about, we got like five minutes left, but find something real good about the Olympics. Look up about how people are hating on uh, that girl who won the Olympic shooting part. Remember hearing about that? No. Yeah, she was like, she's like 18, or I hope she's 18. Uh, she won the Olympic air rifle shooting. Accuracy stuff and whatever. Right, I heard about it, yeah. But people are bragging her like, oh, it's typical white person, gun, wins the Olympics. Like, motherfucker, please. Really? It's an air rifle. And I saw the field day shooting out. That's not that far. Uh, you'd be good to get a, the BB gun at Walmart and shoot that far. You want a Red Riders? I could probably beat her at Red Riders.
uh, white girl wins uh, Olympic shooting uh, stuff. Shooting. Men's 50 millimeter 50M rifle three positions. Men's geek, men's geek, metal standings. United States. I think it's women's air gun. Yeah, it's women's air gun shooting. Or you uh, Genius Thrasher. Let's see. Uh, she won women's uh, 10 meter air rifle gold. Okay, shooting at the 2016 Summer Olympics women's 10 meter air rifle. Virginia Thrasher of the United States. United States in two and three went to China. Virginia Thrasher, 2016 Summer Olympics. Born in Rome, New York. She lives in Springfield, Virginia. She's five foot one. She weighs 119 pounds. She won a gold medal in the women's 10 meter air rifle at the 2016 Summer Olympics. She won the first gold medal awarded at the 2016 Olympics. Gold medal came during the first time she competed in the Olympics, beating two Chinese athletes to death. You know, uh, previous gold medalists, Hu <coughs> Li and Yi Siling. She wanted to be a figure skater. She said she was never any good. By her freshman year of high school, she realized she had to be doing it. Switched sports in 2011 after going hunting with her grandfather. Going hungry. She's majoring in engineering. They were giving her shit, giving shit about the whole. Well, mm. of course, it's a. I, I can't find. I, I saw it on Facebook thing, so I can't find it. Well, of course, there's a white person with a gun winning all the medals, like. As opposed to stealing them, as a colored person might do with a gun. We are here to compete. No, we we gonna hold you hostage. We can take the gold medal. We can take that silver bronze one. We think we can get some money and scrap it for it. Haven't we just about beat that horse totally to death about white people and guns? You know, I mean, who's promoting that crap? Uh, well, I can say it here, but then we're gonna have people bother us all the time. I ain't got time to deal with Black Lives Matter people. Say it, God damn it. <laughs> no, actually, I'm not going to humor them by saying their name. You kill $5 police officers. Fucking you... goddamn cops, such a I'll finish that with Black Lives Matter people. It sounds like you just talked about $5 police officers. Black Lives don't matter. The thing is, the media is feeding all this, the media is starting all this, and, uh, you know, only stupid people believe what they see on the news anyway, and, uh, it's just, uh, we never really covered the Dallas shooting, did we? Not a lot. But, hey, the 
the difference is now it's all out there. We can cover it with time. We're at 30 minutes. I bet we ain't got more than 15 left on my time. My, uh, my, uh, uh, memory runs out. I bet we could probably cover it that time, don't you? 15 minutes, so, yeah. Because we've kind of got everything, everybody already knows, so we're just kind of going over the, what we're angry about part. Hey, hey, get your drunk ass in here. You shake it more than twice, you're fucking the go. The only problem with being on 1410 is we couldn't drink up there. You know it would be a boring fucking show. Yeah. We'd have to sneak something in Sonic cups or something. Keith's told me that tastes bad. Huh? Keith told me that tastes bad like that. Actually, if we don't come on until like after 7, we're going to be the only people there. You couldn't drink the time. Uh, it's, it's early. Uh, no, I really it's 10, 10 o'clock. I'm getting, I'm getting growling. I'm kind of hungry and getting ready to go to bed. All right, that's great. Well, we need you for like 15 minutes. For and, what? And Talk about Black Lives Matter? No, they don't. What, what the fuck? Uh, these son of a bitches running around here crying this bullshit. that's killing cops. Fuck them son of a bitches. You unemployed motherfuckers. Get out there and get you a goddamn <laughs> job. You piece of fucking worthless shit. <laughs> If not, take your black ass back to Africa where you came from. This is enough, God damn it. I have no use for fucking people like y'all. Stop looking at me. Look at them. Your mama and your daddy got out there and busted their ass. And now you run around here with your pants, know their pants running around, around your goddamn knees and hollering about, my life matters. No, it don't, you little nigger motherfucker. Uh, you're done. Uh, hey, uh, back in the, back in the day. Sit down. Back in the day when, uh. Sit when, down, I'll make a plate. Just sit, sit the fuck down. I'll make my own It catches plate. you better. Back you in got, the, back in the day. Sit down, the, the light's blocking your face. I can't really see who you are. Back in the day. There you go. When, when, a, when a piece of shit. Didn't wasn't gonna work out, and they knew that it wasn't gonna work out. They knocked it in the fucking head and chunked it in the river. Uh, the river's got plenty of fucking mileage open up now. Everybody, can we? Can I get an amen on the? I'm going down to the river. That's river. not anything about what that song means. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but I know what song that is. That fuck, has nothing to do with fuck that. Fuck this Black Lives Matter bullshit. Y'all need to, you, you junkie motherfuckers need to get up there and uh, if you got your job, you better stay on it because uh, Stop when, smoking up. when Big D gets in office, you motherfuckers, it's going to be feast or famine because uh, he's going to run the Mexicans off. And you know what really fucked up? If it's got I a, like Mexican women. If, if if you got if he runs starts running the Mexicans off, two niggers underneath your arm. Hey, that's a full package right there. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. Uh, what's your opinion on the Dallas police shoots? That motherfucker did that. He he got what he deserved. This killing these cops. Uh, that 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 has no. I just. That's chicken shit bullshit right there. What about the guy? The guy that did the shooting, he was a reservist in the army. Or used to be or was. Or no, something. he was a piece of fucking shit. I will say I agree. Because I was in the army and we don't like reservists. They're uh, highly untrained. Uh, he's, he was a piece of shit. Uh, if, if, he, if he sit up there and he steamed on that long enough and he did what he did. He was a piece of shit and he got what he deserved. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think his family, for what he did, I think I think his mother or father or anybody still alive, 
or to pay some kind of restitution to the cops that he killed. And that's my opinion on that. And if they don't like it, pull up my driveway out here one afternoon and we'll discuss this shit. But I guarantee you, you'll go back down there to where, where he came from with, which, you, you ever see that, 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 uh, I, I always fall back to this, uh, little show with, uh, Daffy Duck when, when he was talking. When he got married to this old gal. Oh, you can say Looney Tunes. Looney Tunes, that's it. And she said, you're going to take Wentworth to the zoo. And he Is said, that the hey. little retarded? No, the, the, the nerdy little fucking duck or something? Yeah. And he said, the <laughs> hell I am. She goes, he, he said, uh, he said, uh, I'm not taking Wentworth to the zoo. And she goes, oh, yes, you are. Or I'll, or what? And he said, uh, well, I'm not doing it, and the next thing you know, it shows that little daffy duck with his ass kicked up around his shoulder blades like this. Oh, come on, Wentworth, we're going to the zoo. Well, that's about the way I'm going to send you stupid motherfuckers back down there where you came from, with your ass kicked up around your shoulder blades. And that's all I'm going to say now, about Now, a week this. after that, uh, some guy... Call it, this was that one's in Louisiana when three officers got killed. A week after the Dallas thing, some guy called in a somebody was burglarizing his house or pissing on a Burger King or something. A deputy or a <coughs> police officer rose up. It was yeah. a fake in call. He started fucking open fire with uh, they say AR 15, but I doubt it. AR 15 accurate. He hits the target. Uh, lures him in and gets two others by baiting cops. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to stop. And everybody keeps going back to that Ferguson thing. I'm like, that was the right to kill it. It don't have nothing to do with that. Yeah, that, that Ferguson, Missouri thing. What it was, uh, Ferguson, oh, Ferguson, Missouri, that nigger motherfucker stole that shit. He deserved to be killed in the street. And they should have went in there and started killing all them other niggers in the motherfucker. What I find amazing, and you got to give it to the cop, he not only managed to get through here, but he shot the dude's hand at some point too. I was like, that's a good hit. You're trying to take with a pistol and hit a little target. That's quite a good shooting right there. Damn, that, you know that's been like almost two or three years ago. Two, two years ago. Yeah. And, it, and all these niggers are still dwelling on it. Well, at the Democratic but, National Convention, National Convention, they, uh, mothers of the dead or some bullshit like that. The mother of Trayvon Martin. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Hell all yeah. right, well, first of all, I don't know where to go with that one because the guy was on Neighborhood Watch. I don't think you're allowed to carry a gun Neighborhood Watch. Killed, killed, uh, I don't know. The mother of that kid from Ferguson, uh, that nigger bitch. Yeah, yeah. Anderson. Uh, was there. Uh, they didn't ask for, like, uh, the wives or mothers of any fallen officers or anything to come up and show that. Because it was supposed to be. Democrats' concept was, was well, we're, we're against the violence. But you only pulled all the people who actually had some relation to what caused the violence to begin with. Call that, you gotta eat? No. We got we to gotta take a little bit of this leftover. Uh, to try it. See what you think. Or, or eat a bowl while you're here. No. Small bowl. Make it, I got a little small bowl like that. A little small bowl like that. Mm -hmm. Gaming a couple recently. Oh, you ain't going to get a lot. Just tell hey, me what well, you think about it. Well, here's a subject that's timely. When did soup become $1.89 a can? Uh, oh, what the hell? Is that just Brookshire's or did soup go up? I don't know. Uh, I mean, I'm talking little cans. Who is that? Is this stuff from you last night? Come on, here, try it. Hey, Ian. Can you warm it up for you? I was going to say, you could call me Einstein. I don't want to get stuck in the house this way. So much thing. I will. Uh, we know we need to keep the conversation going until. Oh. Uh, uh, it's different. It's got the taste of orange chicken, mm -hmm. but it don't have the chicken taste, does it? No, it doesn't. That's good. The only thing is, it'll give you a fucking injection. 
Not me. Yeah, you probably can stroke out that. I don't have any medicine, so. Oh, you got it now? Got it on film that they're trying to kill me. You got it in the system now. I do not have it. It's my shell. I can tell people whoever. Because I, I that, take that, digestive that. enzymes. I do not have it. Oh, you will now. I make things. I make things that you know, stuff. Yeah. You do. Uh, let's see. Anything I can think of. Uh, well, you covered that, that one officer got killed by that fucking criminal. Uh, over in New Mexico. Well, that's like the one uh, that sheriff's deputy got shot here in Monte County. He had no fucking idea nope. who that guy was. He stopped. He just pulled over a guy for, I don't remember what he got 44 over for. Uh, uh, because he was driving a rag. Right. Because if you cross over the line three times, you ask him to pull over. He was driving a rag, and James pulled him over, and James didn't have no goddamn idea. I got, I got stopped for that coming through Bowie, leaving uh, Lindsay, where we'd gone to see Charlie Robinson. Joe and I were both. Yeah, but I people. know you. It's probably justified. We were up at 5 a.m. And you didn't shoot the cop. No, I didn't shoot the cop. I was asked, however, to step into his car because I couldn't find my driver's license. And he told me then the reason I stopped you is because you bumped the white line three times. That's what I'm saying. That and thing held like a blizzard. I told him it was because. Uh, I was tired. I was honestly taking medication where I could not drink. I could not drink. I was taking medicine that I couldn't drink. You said you were tired from drinking? No, I was so tired of You're tired of drugs. Do you mm -hmm. smoke it? Mm -hmm. American Spirit, same thing I always smoke. We ain't no goddamn grated cheese, do we? You already drank all uh, Look back under there. I had to toss a bunch of shit where the butter was. You already out of beer? No, I bought a 30 pack. I got a bunch. I'm just not drinking fast. I'm not. Oh, okay. Uh, actually, I don't know how much I drink. Okay? Y'all shut the fuck up. No, I wasn't making a comment. I saw that look. What do you think? It's very good. It really was. It's different, ain't it? Mm -hmm. I like it. It, I mean, it, needs, it feels like it needs a little more spice. Something to give it a little kick to it, you know what I mean? Like, actually, some pico in it. Probably wouldn't have hurt it. I, no, I'll put pico in the spaghetti. Did you ever try that spaghetti that I made the other night? When I made? But that was pretty good. That's different. Now, it wasn't your uh, your uh, bacon spaghetti. Yeah, that stuff. But uh, yeah, uh, spaghetti with fresh vegetables like that. That is that when you put pico, that's a uh, pasta primavera. Put any kind of fresh vegetables. But I've been wanting to make y'all my Greek salad. That's one thing everybody really likes is my Greek salad. Well, I like a salad that is either green or stuff, so when I wake up in the morning, I know I gotta go shit. I already know I gotta go do it. There's no question about it. Or has meat in it. The salad don't have meat, it's pork. Not my Greek salad. Like now, I tried some of this. Uh, have you ever went shopping for salad dressing at Brookshire's? You know there's, I counted, it's like 300 fucking bottles of that shit in there. They're brands, that's not including how deep it is. Just, and I got this shit. I use very little bottle dressing. I make my own. thousand dollars. I don't know if this bottle is bad. Hand me a bottle of uh, uh, blue cheese out there. For what? But I had a terrible next day. Well, I want to tell you, I'm, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating about this. Uh, the first place I ever ate Greek salad was a little Greek restaurant on, on Camp Bowie in Fort Worth. Now, what's Olive Greek salad Bowie. again? Greek salad. It is uh, normally it is uh, like hey, a, uh, a leaf uh, lettuce. We need to do one thing. Okay. We have been fucking lagging, and this is on y'all two parts. Oh. What do our world famous? Post police investigation of the shooting in Nakona. Okay. Is there time? You said 15 minutes longer. God damn it. I'm trying to eat a steak here, man. Alright. Uh, 
we're gonna stop here and this is the end of our viewing for tonight but we are gonna make a small uh, it's not a funny video because it's not funny at all no but a reenactment yeah we're gonna do a reenactment that's not custer's last stand but it'll be somewhere we'll see y'all later